difference. Is huge exactly. difference. Ugly rats. No, they're not majestic enough. <laughs> As you say. <laughs> so, you guys go back to Expedition HQ. The place is... Uh, it's both picked up in activity, but also simmered down, if that makes sense. There's a lot more people here, and you note that most of them are officers. Either second wave officers or, or well decorated first wave officers, stuff like that. And there's a bit of tension going on. A lot of side conversations, one on one talks, murmuring. Not necessarily whispering. I don't think anyone here is particularly trying to hide their conversations or intents, but it is just sort of. They don't want to be having the conversations they're having. So, as such, it's a bit quieter. Can I listen in and see what they're talking about? Uh, there's a lot of groups. Uh, I'll give you just a general flavor of them. Some second wave officers are discussing who's going to be heading out with who. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about going out with my team. What's wrong with them? Well, one of them is, uh... <laughs> Go on, no, no secrets between us. <sighs> He's a green arm. He's skittish. I feel like if I drop a torch... He's liable to shoot it. <laughs> well, then I guess you should put him up front, then. Put the skittish one up front? Why not? That way he'll be shooting forwards, at least. <laughs> so that's one conversation. Another, one, another conversation. A lot of similar topic of who's hanging out with who. Do you think there could be any... Roman strategy of you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I learned it somewhere. Uh, He's not being skipped uh, eventually, or be dead. <laughs> so either desensitize or die. Yes, indeed. Um, well, another conversation, guys. I wonder how they'll be handling teams. I heard we'll be allowed uh, to pick our own now. Really? Mm hmm. What about the previous teams, the ones that are priests are already assigned? Sucks to be them, then. <laughs> I don't know. Would you rather work with friends or work with people that you trust are competent? I like to think my friends are competent. Fair enough. Another conversation. I can't wait to finally get out there. We've only been here a week. And? I can't wait. I hear... I heard we got to pick our own people. Yeah. I hope you're not intending to pick me. Oh, <laughs> God, no. No. You and your magic? I don't trust you. You might literally perform friendly fire. I... I saw you at the training range. Play candy hands. No, I saw... The other day, a sec one of the fellow, a fellow second waiver. Wow, you saw another second waiver. That's really no. Shut the hell up. I saw a second waiver. Seven, eight feet tall, massive, huge. Imagine a, f a fellow like that can do with an axe. Human? No, not. Do you know a human that's eight feet tall? I don't know. That's why it sounded interesting. No, 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 no. The Nevros Orkish. Orcish. Interesting tactic in my year. Aren't we all? Stuff like that. So, uh, then, m first, you notice there's a bit of a difference. Second wave is the first wave officers. First wave officers are discussing sort of long term planning. Mm -hmm. She starts talking up. On what? Water, food, or ammunition? All three. I think I'll take the ammunition. <laughs> Wait, you don't plan on living long? I want on killing a lot. <laughs> Knight of Tempest the second. We'll give the bar something to sing about at least. I hope not. Another group? Did you see them? See who? The kids. No, I wasn't here. I just came in. I just got called in. Oh. Why? Wait, what kids? Tell I'll tell you about it over some drinks, because I think I'll need it. Fair enough. Stuff like that. Lots of little tidbit conversations about differing topics. Okay. And you guys sort of okay. stroll through all of it. Catching more than a few eyes. Mostly from second wave officers. But you catch a few first wave officers as well. Uh, you do see Charlotte sitting at the receptionist's desk still. And she's, you know, doing bus literal business. And she gets like a look of surprise. Welcome back. I did not expect to see you so soon. 
Is there something you're here for? <clears throat> Just checking up on our friend. <laughs> ah! Ah! She she points like her the tip of her pen up at where the medical wing is. I just got word that uh, some well, a team is looking to the chosen now. So if you want to go retrieve him, I guess, I do not think he'll be allowed in the room. Our staff is quite uh, aggressive when it comes to maintaining patient confidentiality. It's probably for the better. Yeah. I'll, yeah. Okay. Cool. Did Samuel's I keep still, you? Samuel's still cooking about in the area. I haven't seen him leave. Unless right. he left through a side or back door. All right, cool. Thank you. She nods. Goes back to doing paperwork. All right. Ooh. Just so you guys right. head up the stairs over to the medical wing. Into the medical wing. Mm-hmm. Again, the medical wing was not popular when you guys first came here, and you guys have only been gone approximately an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. So, it's similarly, since there hasn't been a tragedy in that hour and a half time, still not populated that much. Uh, you do see uh, Samuel and the uh, holy man uh, sitting in chairs on both ends of the door that leads into the children's room. Okay. Um... So, They're both just sort of sitting there, silently. So, hey, Sammy! Yeah, my boy! <laughs> oh, hey guys. How are you doing? Surviving. <laughs> Alright, cool. How are the kids doing? <sighs> I haven't seen them in a bit. Oh, um, uh, okay. Team's in there right now. Oh yeah, they kicked you out, right? Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. We were planning on heading over to the tavern. I can't remember what it's called. What was it called again? Weaver something? Fork. Yes. Would you... <laughs> there gets a look of confusion. Did you just confuse the... Just don't worry about it. Never mind. <laughs> you guys took Weaver from Abigail's shop and then combined it with a tap. Never mind. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. It's been a long Why week, did you okay? Tell them? Yeah. Just let them do their thing. It's much more entertaining. I don't know. I've got like a memory like a bloody sieve, so. We're good. But yeah, we're heading to the tavern. Are you staying here? Or do you want to come with us? I'll go with you guys. Cool. Can check you want to get uh, press the digitated? Barrick takes a step sure. away from Aminius. I follow the lead. <laughs> it's all, right. all the chamber thing that... Who knows what the fuck that means. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to be helpful. I I'll understand, but the phrasing is very it. odd. Mm. Anyway. Do you press it on digitize? <laughs> yes. Whoa. <laughs> Magical sound effects. Whoa, Star Trek you. effects. One or the other. <laughs> Take your pick. <laughs> Captain Kirk. Uh, so yeah. Get cleaned up. Well, I mean, I just started watching you guys. Spoiler. Silently. Then you just sort of can do staring at the wall. Yeah, so. so... Let's get going, then. Hi. Yeah, let's go. We'll be sundown soon enough. All right, perfect. I rub my hands together in evil manner. Right. Aminius is alarmed. <laughs> did you? <laughs> did you have to say that out loud? I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very sneaky. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, can that's tell. That's the opposite of we... sneaky. That's literally telling everyone your plans. I mean, my name's Wise, but I'm not very wise. <laughs> How It'll get there eventually. Um, How does anyone get any name? Hmm, fair. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, it's in right now. I did finger guns for no reason. With a real gun! <laughs> no. Oh, Christ. Finger. <laughs> With a handgun, you know what I'm saying? Anyways. You guys, uh, leave the medical wing? 
say goodbye to Charlotte on your guys' way out of the Expeditionary HQ. You guys go to the tavern first, or you guys go get your outfits first? Outfits? Probably outfits, yeah. Wasn't it, like, didn't she say sundown? Sundown is when you guys were to pick it up. What time? It's not sundown yet, is it? Yeah. It probably It's probably like an hour and a half, maybe two hours till sundown. How far away is the place? Like, pff, 40 minutes. Okay. Actually, uh, Expeditionary HQ, yeah, 40 minutes, yeah. Okay, so okay. It'll, it might be done by the time we get there, if not, we just hang out for a minute. Yeah. Ver yeah. Ver as you guys are stepping through the front doors of like leaving Expedition HQ, uh, Varric uh, takes a quick step in front of you guys, turns on his heels. You guys want to talk to Ember at all? Um... Gear? Anything like that? Probably got a sword now than later. Fair. Uh, I, w I could do with some armor. Potentially. Mm. Unless you think there's like a different shop that would be able to handle that. If you're just looking for any old armor, then Ember should be able to handle it just fine. Hey. That and more. Anybody else? Uh, I don't think really use it, to be honest. So I think I'm alright. I'm okay. I'm okay. But I feel like the odds went out now. We can just well, pop you're in. you're special. <laughs> you're we, can just, with... <laughs> we can just pop in and then just ask them. I, yeah. I'm okay with it's that. It's on the way out anyways. I'm kind of curious to see if that wee guy's still there as well. Oh, uh, that's gonna be fun. What, Jackson? Yeah. Oh, weird guy. Yeah. Abe. Abe? That's it, yeah. Abe. Didn't he need to talk to Abigail about something? Ah, uh, we can tell him later. So, you guys go. Again, it's on the way out, anyways. Again, the uh, Smithy for Expeditionary HQ is an outdoor. Oh. Oh, no. Did my. Discord just eat. Hello. Well, that's fun. Oh, come on. Did my internet die? Is that what happened? Ah. I'm trying to disconnect, you dumb shit. Well, this is just gonna be a fun minute of chit chatting and having a good time. Pause. Is there not a pause button? No, there's only stop. Well.